Hey, I get it. There's constipation. There's all kinds of digestive issues. And I understand what it feels like more than you know about what it's like to be stuffed up. Today, you're in the right place because I'm here with Dr. Cynthia Foster. Dr. Foster, thank you for being with us. Hi. Pleasure to be here. I don't be thrown off by that pleasant hi. We've got <laughs> some amazingly strong, powerful, and a effective herbs that are going to clean you out. And this is no joke. You're not going to want to miss a minute. Okay, I'm not going to let you down this time. I'm Jonathan Landsman, your host here for this channel. I hope you're enjoying all the videos that we're putting out for you these days. I'm with Dr. Foster, and we're going to give you today the three best herbs to clean out everything inside that you've got going on that you want, let's put it this way, to get out of you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster, talk to us about the one to start us off with best herb to clean us out? Um, I like dandelion. Dandelion is commonly available. You can often find the leaves in the grocery store. It's a nice bitter herb. It helps cleanse your liver. You can put it in salad. You can juice it with some um, other vegetables. A little bit of apple is nice. Um, and it helps not only to cleanse your liver, but also your kidneys as well. So you're helping your insides a lot. When you consume dandelion, you can make a tea out of the root. Um, you can help your bladder and your kidneys and your liver and your gallbladder with dandelion. Hey, bitter is better. You bitter is probably, better. if you've been watching a lot of the videos in this space and natural health, you've heard that term, bitter is better. And I would throw out some other bonus greens, if you don't mind, Dr. Foster, that you could be looking into. Mustard greens, that's another mm -hmm. good one. Any mm -hmm. other bitters that you like, Dr. Foster, oh, that we could I just kind of throw in there? I like kale. I like Swiss chard. I like... Arugula? Arugula, sure. Yeah. Uh, mixed greens. And play around with this, right? Try to find those bitter greens that you like that aren't as unpleasant, right? And then there's things also you can do to make those bitters a little better, right? Mm -hmm. What could we squeeze on them to maybe make it more palatable to eat? Mm. Well, for like a dandelion salad, you can add raisins and you'll get that sweet with the bitter. So you're still getting the benefits of the bitter, but it tastes better. Um, and you may have your favorite salad dressing, the, the lemon, the tartness helps the bitter. I love that. So, um, so if you have a good salad dressing, Hey, you can have a lot of bitters in your salad. You won't taste it as much. There you go. Now, if you're keeping track, not that hard today. We're moving right along. Number two, best herb for cleaning out. Uh, corn silk. Corn silk, because everybody can buy corn at the store, and a lot of people don't realize when you peel off that silk, that silk is actually therapeutic. It helps your bladder. It helps your kidneys. It could help relieve urinary tract pain. So if you have an infection, um, if you've got inflammation or irritation there, then drinking the corn silk tea can help you. I like to just peel it off and make in a tea, make it into a tea and use it immediately. Is it available in most health food stores, or is it hard to get? No, just buy corn. Great. <laughs> if, if you like... Good organic corn. Right. That's the thing, too. You know, often you'll see conventionally that they'll say, oh, there's no difference between conventional and organic, and the nutrient mm -hmm. levels are pretty much the same, and they'll always downplay it. And I think you already can see all through that nonsense that that's really not true. There's great value, if you can, in getting organic. Mm -hmm. And if you can't get certified organic, at least look at some of these local farmers markets. What a great opportunity mm -hmm. to get organic food where the farmer's not using chemicals right. or really trying to stay away from it. They just maybe didn't go through the process of getting that certification, which is very expensive. It's a big deal. Oh, I love going to the farmer's markets because you can ask each farmer, how did you raise the food? And they'll tell you exactly what they did and how they're, they're um, making the soil, uh, preparing the soil. Um, and 
you know, how the, the plants respond. And so a lot of them get really great yields because they're using really good natural methods. And for me, that's important. I don't want to play guesswork with some kind of chemical that's a pesticide. If I don't know what the pesticide was, if I can't look it up, hey, why do I want to take that chance? And I want to know what's on there. Sorry about interrupting you. It's also great if you're looking to detoxify the body. It's so important to have good people around you. Mm -hmm. And it's great support to get to these farmers markets. Hey, if you're liking these videos, you've heard me say it before, get your comments down below. Let us know what you're doing to clean out your body. What are some of your favorite strategies to detoxify your body? And mm -hmm. share this information down below in the comments. That's why I'm creating all these videos. I've got my guy Tim behind the camera here doing all of this work so mm -hmm. that we can get this information out to you and really help you. But your comments in the shared community is what it's all about, about helping other people. So get those comments below. Dr. Foster, let's move right along because I know people okay. are saying, let's get on with it. What's the third one that we want to talk about today? Uh, one that is commonly available that people can use. You can go to your grocery store right now. Um, burdock root um, is more of kind of like an Ayurvedic herb, but I find it in most grocery stores. If you eat burdock root, it can help your skin. So people are concerned about a rash or acne or something, you take this herb, you can make it into a tea, um, you can cook it and put it in um, to a, a dish. Um, it will help to cleanse the various layers of your skin and give your skin a more youthful appearance. So I love this one. It also helps the liver and the kidneys um, and the bladder as well. It warms the body. So if you're like a person with cold hands and feet, this one may help you. Oh, that's a great point. In my uh Earlier days in training for macrobiotics and macrobiotic studies, you know, large view of life and talking about the energetics of food, mm -hmm. burdock root, you know, fall, winter, great kind of root vegetable. You know, again, the Grounding. way it looks is like sort of a, a dirty brown, long, skinny Stick. carrot, right? right? But it really <laughs> does help to parsnip, turnip, you know, vegetables like that in the fall and the winter. The squashes are great to eat because they will warm you up. But we're focusing today on cleaning out your body. And I'm not going to leave you till we mm -hmm. give you, if you're with us so far, you got two, two bonus more. tips for you. What's one of them, Dr. Foster? Uh, one of my favorites is peppermint. If mm -hmm. you have acid indigestion, if you have a heartburn, if maybe you're a little crampy here because of gas, peppermint will help to um, release gas from your system. It helps you digest your food. Um, it's cooling. It cools the heartburn. Um, it, uh, there's been studies showing it can help colon spasms, so it can help irritable bowel. There's so many things that peppermint can do. If it's a hot day, you can drink peppermint tea. It can help cool you down. Um, peppermint oil helps if you have a fever. It can help to bring down a fever. So it's an amazing cooling herb. So the oil actually getting applied to the skin, and then for those beginners mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. you're talking about how that literally gets absorbed into the body and mm -hmm. has a really nice effect. Right, exactly. And it's important for people to understand that a lot of things you were just describing, hopefully this is motivational for some people out there. Maybe the video is going to get shared with someone who's never heard this information before. But this idea of you talking about all these cramps and stomach issues and certainly constipation are obviously signs of stagnation. And I know that's mm -hmm. a big message with mm -hmm. you. If you're stagnant, things are stuck, not a healthy thing. And that's why we're creating this. You've got to create this flow, opening up, nour nourishing the body, mm -hmm. and just getting the body moving so we can get all of these waste products out of the body efficiently and safely, right? Right, right. That's the goal. So let's finish up today with our last bonus tip. You take over, Dr. Foster. What is it? Uh, ginger root. Ginger, you can find ginger. in any grocery store. It warms the body. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, it is a mild oh. laxative, and it's great for kids. Maybe your kids are a little constipated or a little sluggish with their digestion. It's also a great digestion herb. So if you have indigestion, um, it's great for motion sickness. So if you're flying on an airplane and you get motion sickness, if you have a little bit of ginger with you, um, you can put it in a tea, you can put it in a tincture, you can powder it and put it in capsules or 
there's so many ways to use it. You can juice it. You can juice it with your vegetable juices. It helps to warm up your fingers, your toes, your extremities. Um, it brings more blood flow to your eyes, to your pelvic organs, everywhere in your body. It helps your heart. It helps thin your blood out. It helps with headaches. Um, so if you have migraines, ginger is an excellent herb to use. My wife loves to be my doctor. When uh -huh. I don't feel well, one of the biggest things that we've done in the past many times is just taking that fresh ginger root, mm -hmm. grating it up, getting a bunch, putting it in the hand, squeezing it into that warm, hot water, right? right. Stir that around, squeeze a little quarter of a lemon wedge, right. just squeeze that in, stir it around, and just drink that water. It really feels mm -hmm. like a healing beverage. Amazing. Right. And it's amazing if you have a cold or the flu. There you have it. I'm bringing all my friends with me. Dr. Foster is out in California and all the other guests that you see them doing, creating all of these videos for you. Again, please post your comments down below. Let us know what you've been doing that's successful. And if you'd like to see any other kind of videos that we can create for you, please let us know. And also, if you wanna find Dr. Foster, where can we find you, Dr. Foster? I am at drfostersessentials.com. You can also find me doherbs.com. So do herbs, not drugs. Amazing information from this doctor. Don't miss out. And again, hope you enjoyed this information. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.